What's good, John? It's your boy, Trail Guy Game. Make sure y'all go sub to my man, X Man. He's been posting daily, man. He got a lot of nice bills and all of that. He's almost at 1K, too, man. Keep grinding, keep grinding, keep doing your thing, man. And yeah, link in the uh, description. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you, my guy. For you, Manga B, go, everybody go sub up to him, man. He just started his channel out, man. He got a dunk mixtape out. He was also using the ugly jump shot. I hope you keep bringing content, man. That's real creative. So keep doing your thing, man. Hit that sub, y'all. Uh, for you, qualify. I don't know how to say your name, Quifey, but I see you've been doing streams, man. Keep doing them streams, man. Everybody go sub up to him, man. He's just starting out, too. So, you know, hit him over the sub. All right, y'all. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Trail Guy Game, and I'm back with a build video of my Paint B Center, man. 610. He's a god. I'm telling you, he can do everything, he can do it all. So make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe, man. Help me on my journey to 1.5K, man. Let's get right into it, man. Wait, before anything, make sure y'all comment below so you can be shouted out just like the three people who won from yesterday's uh, last video, man. So if you want that shout out, get some leverage on your channel, I'm here to help you, man. Shout out for shout out, man. You know what I'm saying? You help me, I help you. You feel me? So, yeah, let's get right into the video, y'all. All right, for this build, you're going to want to choose the rebounding and slashing pie chart, man. The rebounding, defending, uh, slashing pie chart. And then you're going to want to go with the balance pie chart for your physical profile. I'm telling you, you're going to get a nice speed, man. You're going to get almost an 80, a 80 speed. My, my speed is 79, but really, you're almost going to get a, a, set, a, a 80 speed, man. It's really toxic, especially on a 1v1 course. Any any situation, you're going to be able to do anything with anybody, man. I'm telling you, y'all. You're going to want to copy down all of these attributes, man. Step by step, close shot, 88. Driving layup, 69. Driving dunk, 75. Standing dunk, 95. Post hook, 73. You're going to get 21 finishing badges, y'all. 21. That's a lot of finishing, man. I'm telling you, this build is very, very effective, man. Another another thing is playmaking. You're going to want nine playmaking badges. I'm telling you guys, nine is really, really effective, man. Especially when you hit somebody with the post move and, and you want to uh, go... Try to baseline cheese. If you want a baseline cheese, make sure you have post technician on gold, man. I'm telling you, that badge is very overpowered. So make sure you y'all have that. And then another thing, you're gonna want to have quick first step so you can be fast, almost like a point guard. You're gonna be faster than most of than point guards, my guy. You're gonna be speeding. And that's where a lot of people don't understand. Quick first step is really overpowered, man. You get the advantage on a lot of people. Uh, so make sure y'all have um, playmaking, pass accuracy, 70, post moves, 73, man. Don't put nothing onto your shooting. You don't need no shooting. And another thing is, if you're a good shooter, you can shoot with this build, too. It only goes up to, what's this, a three-pointer? You, you're not going to want to shoot threes on this build. But mid-range shot, I guess you can you can hit a couple shots. I'll be hitting a few shots here and there. But now for your defensive rebounding chart, make sure you have your interior defense 88, lateral quickness 54. You know all of that good stuff, man. Block. Make sure you just copy down everything. So that will leave you with 21 finishing, one shooting, nine playmaking, tw 25 defensive rebounding, man. Very crazy. All right, now. Let's get right into this. For me, I chose built, man. Y'all can choose whatever y'all want. And another thing is, my my uh, my center is 6'10", y'all. He is 6'10". As you can see, your, uh, your, your, what's it called? Your driving dunk is going to go to a 84, man. It goes up drastically, man. It goes up drastically. So make sure y'all put y'all to, uh, what's it called? Um, your height to 6'10". If you want to go lower, you get that driving dunk to 
to 87 that yo I, I wonder how that'll go I, I would I would love to try it out but I do not want to make another build on this game right now and yeah man I have it at 610 uh, I, I put them at 240 that's a nice stable weight so you don't get baby but you'll still be fast uh, for arm length I maxed it out Max wingspan, y'all. Max wingspan. Make sure y'all have max wingspan. You're gonna need it. Now, with this right here, my guys. This right here, my guys. What you wanna do is, I personally chose rim protector because I knew I was gonna play the one v one courts. But honest to truth, I think the glass takeover would be way much better. Especially when I'm playing threes, two, I mean, yeah, like tools, right? You know what I'm saying? Just getting that rebound and help. That, that's, that's a crazy benefit, man. So it's up to y'all. It's y'all personal choice. If you want to use them for 1v1, go with this badge right here, Rim Protector. It's still good for the twos and the threes. But honest to truth, I think this badge would do you good, man. And yeah, man, that's my bill, y'all. I know y'all been asking for my bill. Before I do that, I will show you the badges I run for 1v1 court. You know what I'm saying? Acrobat Hall of Fame, consistent finisher on Hall of Fame, relentless finisher on Hall of Fame, contact finisher on Hall of Fame. Mind you, this is my 1v1 badges. These are my 1v1 badges. Uh, what I use? This right here. Boom. These are my finishing badges, y'all. So if y'all want to do 1v1s, this is a good setup for y'all right here. Honestly, I use Hall of Fame Slithery. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, these are my badges right there. Shooting, I just go with quick draw. Get the shot off a little bit faster. Playmaking, this is what I was talking about. Make sure you have that quick first step on goal. Have the unpluckable on goal. Have the post technician on go. This is the perfect 1v1 build, y'all. I'm telling y'all, you will not regret this build, y'all. You will not regret this build. Defensive badges. Uh, no, no. I don't put nothing on worm. I don't put nothing on box. Rebounding chaser. Boom. Moving truck. Hall of Fame. Post lockdown. Hall of Fame. Uh, pogo stick. Hall of Fame. Intimidator, Hall of Fame, Chase Down Artist, Silver, Clamps. Matter of fact, you can put Chase Down on Bronze and Clamps on Hall of Fame. Clamps on Hall of Fame really does a lot, especially when you're on your center and going against a guard or a glass lock. Because as soon as you get the bump animation, it's wraps. They're going to pick up the ball, y'all. Make sure y'all have that Clamps on, man. But yeah, these are my badges, man. That's it. That's really it for the video. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe, man. Comment below if y'all want a video specifically y'all want. If y'all want me to do some entertaining videos, mess with some elites and troll them, you know what I'm saying? Sell them in the stage, go crazy. Let me know. Let me know. You know what I mean? But yeah, y'all. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, man, and I'm out, y'all.